Welcome to the Graphic Tracer training video. Again, my name is Steve, and I'd like to introduce you to the Fonti tool today. Uh, this is a wonderful tool if you need to identify or clean up a typeface in your graphic. I'd like to begin by showing you a graphic. Here's one that I just scanned in. It's a, it just says finds fonts quick. It's got three different typefaces here. And I want to show you how we can quickly clean this up. Not only just clean it up, but uh, identify the typefaces and replace those typefaces using the font eye tool of Graphic Tracer. So to begin with, we can bring this graphic into Graphic Tracer by just uh, copying and pasting. So I'm going to select this and we're going to copy. And I will bring that down to our window of Graphic Tracer. And we're going to come over here to loading and we're going to paste the image from the clipboard. Okay, at this point, we're going to take this graphic and we're going to vectorize it. So we're going to process this image and create vectors. And now we have traced it. You can see we have some noise uh, that we picked up, some little artifacts. So I'm just going to marquee around those. If I draw a box around them, hit the delete key on my keyboard, and we'll get rid of the little elements there that we don't want. I'm now going to select uh, the word quick by just marking around it like so. And we're going to come up to our text tool. And we're going to choose the little eye here, identify and replace. So I select that tool and it shows the letters here that we have selected and we see this little red baseline showing the bottom of the letters. We're simply going to come over here and we're going to click next. And now you can see that Graphic Tracer has broken all of these elements apart that, it, that we traced. And I need to tell it that these are part of the same letter. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to drag that to the letter next to it on each of these. So we're going to drag all the elements into one. So if we can tell it that that's all of a W and this over here is a K. Now on these letters on the bottom, we're going to need to tell Graphic Tracer what those letters are. So I'm going to just set my caps lock and I'm going to just type in the word quick. Take K W I and K. Once we have linked all of these letters to the parts of my trace above, we can come over and click next and Graphic Tracer will go through and it will do a font search. And you can see how it has quickly done a search and superimposed right on top of my trace what it believes that letters are. We can see it's correct and you can come over here and it's built a prioritized list of potential uh, matches. We see it, it says uh, Faye Villa from the Quick Start Collection. We've got Futura T D Black from the URW collection. We've got uh, Fujiyama from the Quick Start collection. And you can see this font goes by several different names. Kato Display from SSI, uh, Deco Black from the Green Street. And you notice some of these fonts are, are white and some are green. If you come down, any of the fonts that are uh, highlighted in green are from fonts from collections that I own. And you can see from the, uh, if you look at the video on building your font search database, you can see these are all from different databases that I own. And you can choose any of these, uh, the green, any of the ones that are, well, if I click on the ones that are black, that replace button is not highlighted. Any of the ones that are green, that replace button highlights and it will allow me to replace the text. So I'm just merely going to click replace. And you can see we have just replaced that text here I'm going to undo. We've taken this here and we've replaced that text with perfect artwork created from the original font. Very, very uh, powerful tool for cl quickly cleaning up graphics. We're going to take in, uh, the word find here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and identify and replace. We're going to do the same thing. And we see FI. It's not sure what that is. So I'm going to type in the letter N and D and we'll do next. And it identified that as Bodoni Bold from the Bitstream. That's not one I own. So I'll come down here to this Corel Draw. And I quickly click Replace. And we've replaced that. And the last one is the word Fonts. I'll tag that. And we will click Identify and Replace on that one. You can see this is a connected script font. I click Next. And I need to tell it that is a capital F. And we have three letters that are connected together and a question mark. It's not sure what that letter is, so I need to tell it it's O-N-T in that box. And last, we have our S. I type that in and I click Next. And 
Graphic Tracer quickly searches it out. You can see Amazon BT Regular from the CorelDRAW collection. That is a font I own, so I click Replace. At this point here, we can zoom in on that. You can see how we have the overlaps there. I'm going to select that word, and we're going to come up here to our Edit Objects. We've got our Weld tool selected. I quickly weld it. It's welded those letters together. We can export this as an EPS, AI, DXF, or PLT. If you're an Illustrator or CorelDRAW user, you can come over here to the click link. Now I use CorelDRAW 7. I merely click Transfer, and when I do that, it's placed it right into my CorelDRAW. We're going to go ahead and view this in our Enhanced, and you can see here we now have that graphic. It's completely cleaned up, and we can ungroup that at this point. And let's see here. We can ungroup that and it, we can just drag those apart, you can see, and do whatever you'd like to do with them. It's a very powerful tool for quickly cleaning up graphics. Again, this is Graphic Tracer and this is using the Font Eye tool of Graphic Tracer. Thank you very much for taking a few minutes to, to look at this tool. If you want more information, you can go to uh, graphicpowers.com or graphictracer.com and uh, take a look at some of the other features of the program. Thank you for your time.